Hello and welcome to Informatica support videos. Uh, my name is Donald OG and today I will be discussing the IICS Secure Agent minimum requirements. All right, so the agenda for today is the minimum requirements for installing the Secure Agent as well as best practices. Okay, so Informatica Secure Agent is a lightweight application. Um, however, the engine running the ETL load is still a power center DTM engine, and that requires a certain minimum machine requirement you know, to process the tasks and uh, the high data volume with good performance. So first, uh, we recommend having a multi-core CPU machine. Uh, at the very minimum, you'd need at least four logical processors. Okay, and then as far as the memory, uh, we recommend 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, that's actually the minimum but the recommended uh, RAM is to have up to 32 gigabytes. Uh, keep in mind you have other services like the mass ingestions and, and common integration services. And, and that's why uh, the recommended RAM is 32 gigabytes. All right, so as far as the disk space, uh, you would wanna have at least 250 uh, gigabytes of, of, of uh, disk space and uh, keep in mind that this is just a recommended value and it, it might not be enough you know depending on the number of mapping tasks with high number of joiners and lookups you know that create a lot of temporary cache files so um, yeah the, if you can have more than 250 50 gigabytes of this space that would even be better and finally for uh, for Linux based machines um, you don't want to install the secure agent using the root root user okay so let's uh, move on to recommendations uh, so we don't recommend having the secure agent on the same machine that is running uh, the power center domain server because it might cause uh, the lip and the lip path conflicts and of course performance issues um, on the machine because it, it might not have enough memory or processor resources. And also, uh, we don't recommend uh, having more than one secure agent installed on the same machine. Uh, this can cause conflicts, you know, the agent ID conflicts during registration with Informatica pods. And finally, if you, if you need to set up a proxy, uh, just do that when installing the secure agent for the first time. Okay, so for more information, please uh, visit the following link. Uh, we would love to hear from you. So please, if you have any questions, email us at supportvideos at informatica.com or you can also uh, visit us at twitter.com forward slash infrasupport. Thank you.